Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a very important numerical which is one of the frequently asked question in ecology and evolution paper of GATE. So if you are preparing for the GATE exam or NET environmental science exam or you can be preparing for the CSIR NET life science exam then this numerical is very very useful for you. So why we are dealing with the numericals part for the gate because in numerical questions you will be getting two marks instead of one mark which is in the MCQ question. So these are very useful for securing more marks and these are actually two to three questions will be coming from this section. So if you know this part very well and the fundas are clear then you will be able to score more and more. So without wasting much time let's get started. तो so, आज हम जिस न्यूमेरिकल को सॉल्व करेंगे उसके बेसिक्स के बारे में जानेंगे वो है हार्डी वेनबर्ग इक्विलिब्रियम सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस वाज डेवलप्ड बाय जी एच हार्डी विलियम वेनबर्ग एंड विलियम ई कैसेल सो दिस थ्री आर इन्वॉल्व फॉर दिस इक्विलिब्रियम लॉ एंड व्हाट डज दिस लॉ और इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट्स सो ये क्या कहता है उसको जानना चाहिए सो इट स्टेट्स दैट एलील और जीनोटाइप फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ए पॉपुलेशन विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम जनरेशन टू जनरेशन in the absence of any evolutionary forces so you know that for controlling your any factors gene is responsible and gene are present in the form of alleles that is they are in the paired form so alleles can be recessive or dominant so dominant means they are expressed in the morphological and genotype and if they are recessive then they are not expressed in the morphological or genetics form according to this equilibrium law it states that the allele ya fir genotype in a population their frequency is constant that we can say 100% or 1 when the absence of evolutionary forces so what is this evolutionary forces and absence we will know one by one let's move to the next slide yahan pe aapko easily samajh mein aayega so let us consider this is the chromosome so i hope aapko ye basics pata hoga chromosomes mein allele jo hai paired forms mein hote hain for example कैपिटल ए ले लेंगे डोमिनेंट एलील कोई भी एक ट्रेट को कोई भी एक कैरेक्टर को डिनोट करता है एंड स्मॉल ए डिनोट्स रिसेसिव एलील सो दिस टू आर द एलील प्रेजेंट इन वन क्रोमोजोम नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट डज दिस हार्डी वेनबर्ग इक्वेशन स्टेट्स सो दे स्टेट्स दैट पी इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ डोमिनेंट एलील दैट मीन्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ डोमिनेंट एलील का मतलब होता है नंबर ऑफ डोमिनेंट एलील दैट मीन्स यू कैन टेक ए डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलील्स प्रेजेंट इन द chromosome in the population so that is denoted by f in bracket capital a similarly agar hum recessive allele ka lenge frequency ko that is denoted by the alphabet that is small q so for that small f which is bracket inside the bracket will take small a that we have taken for the example that recessive allele is denoted as small a so i hope you are clear that two alleles are there one is dominant one is recessive and their frequency for the dominant one we are taking p and for the recessive one frequency ko liya jata hai small q and what does this equation states it states that they remain in equilibrium that means p plus q is equal to 1 so ye jo hai allele ka jo equilibrium equation hai as per the hardy weinberg equation that means if the frequency of the dominant allele in a population is 0.6 let us assume and if you take the frequency of we have to find the frequency of allele in the population of recessive then it can be 0.4 because it should be if you add together it should be 1 that is 100% so i hope you are clear now p plus q is equal to 1 that's the first thing which is told in the hardy weinberg equation for the case of allele similarly we have to know about the gene that is genotypic frequency for that we'll move on to the next slide so as we know that p plus q is equal to 1 p is the frequency of the dominant allele q is the frequency of the recessive allele in the population and it is equal to 1 that is according to the equilibrium so next is we are coming to the genotypic frequency ye allelic frequency ho gaya allele ka but genotypic frequency ke liye hame kya chahiye so for genotypic frequency that means two allele will be there so two in the pair form the genes are present so p plus q that we have to multiply it by along with another p plus q so that means uska matlab ho jayega p plus q ka aap isko abhi nahi dekhiye so ab jo samjha raha hu usko dekhiye p plus q into p plus q will be p plus q whole square and if we do the calculation for p plus q whole square then you will be getting 
p square plus 2 p q plus q square that means that is a very simple formula we all have learned in our school days is equal to 1 as per the hardy weinberg equation for genotic frequency so genotypic frequency ke liye ye hoga equation and allelic frequency ke liye ye hoga equation so i hope you are clear now but abhi jante hain p square kya hai yahan pe to humne dekh liya ye allelic frequency hai dominant and ye recessive ka but here the p square is suggesting about the homozygous dominant that means pp we can say and here 2pq denotes the heterozygous condition in that population for a typical gene and q square denotes the homozygous recessive so q ka matlab recessive ho jata hai wahan pe allele ka so q square ka matlab ho jayega homozygous recessive genotypic frequency so these three things are important along with these two so total five things you have to remember i hope you are clear now as i have told frequency means number of appearances by total so let's move on to the next slide so before moving to the next slide let us come back to the definition where we have known that the allele and frequency of genotypic in a population now we have learned it will remain constant that means equal to one till now it is clear but here it is one more thing written absence of any evolutionary forces so for that there are five condition for this equilibrium this equation to work so let us see these two equation how they will work they will work when these five conditions are fulfilled in a population so ye panch cheeze kya hai dekh lete hain so five conditions are number 1 there should be no natural selection in that population wahan pe natural selection nahi hona hai next is there should be no mutation so wahan pe population ke us gene mein koi bhi mutation nahi hona chahiye third condition is there should be no migration that means that population that individual should not move that means migration means both immigration and immigration immigration means exit and immigration means entry that should not be possible in that population so no migration next is random mating so ye selective mating nahi hona chahiye that one male should be selectively mating with a particular female so that should not be the case there should be random mating between the individuals of the population next is the population will be large so large population why we require for this hardy weinberg equilibrium to work because if the population is very small so for example this is male and these are female then the chances of bottleneck effect or genetic drift will be higher so agar small population hai genetic drift will be more which is not favoring this case of hardy weinberg equilibrium so if the population is more more number of individual large population then genetic drift to take place it is very less chance it is least almost and in that way hardy weinberg equilibrium will work so i hope you are clear these five things are important also it can be asked in the mcq form so note it down so now after knowing all the basics and the fundamentals of the hardy weinberg equation we will be able to solve the numericals so ye hai aapke samne numerical question so in the question it is asking it is telling that dark skin color in dogs is dominant so here dark skin color dominant and light skin color is recessive so it is written that it is dominant two light skin color that means light skin color will be recessive so you have to analyze the sentence formation also next is the question is 36 dogs have dark color skin and 64 have light color skin so two things are given this data and with the help of this data we can find one two three four five questions answer yes you will do one by one don't worry very easy i will tell you one by one so here let us assume and it has been given for dark color let us assume d so for dark color here it will be written that 36 are having in the population dark color skin and 64 are having light color so we will take small d equal to 64 in number and as i have said to calculate the frequency we need to know the individual frequency of the number of appearance of a single allele divided by the total allele so here the first question is what is the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype so homozygous recessive means it is asking q square so we have learned in the previous slide don't forget that it is asking q square so how to find it out it is very easy because it will be it will be equal to the frequency of homozygous recessive genotype will be here it is recessive means 64 it is given so 64 and total population is how much 64 plus 36 will be 100 so 64 divided by 100 will give the q square value that will be equal to 0 0.64 so it is not clear but you should note 0 0.64 i hope you are writing in your note 
if you are not writing then please note it down so after dividing 64 by 100 we will get q square value as 0 0.64 so the first question is solved answer is 0 0.64 now let's go to the next question next question is what is the frequency of recessive allele so here it is asking about here it has already asked so but it is asking here genotype here it is asking about allele that so genotype are the paired form of allele so it is asking about allele that means it is very simple allele here as the genotype is q square so we have to take the root of q square that means it is asking q what is the frequency of recessive allele allele is q so 0 0.64 ka hum agar root over lenge the answer will be 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 will be the allele frequency of recessive allele so i hope you are understood till now let's move to the third question the third question is asking what is the frequency of dominant allele so here it is asking the frequency of dominant allele so here humne likala tha recessive allele ka jo frequency hai q is equal to 0 0.8 now it is asking the allele dominant allele that means p it is asking so p kitna hoga so again will take the help of the hardy weinberg equation that is p plus q is equal to 1 ji ha ye aapko yaad rakhna hai p plus q is equal to 1 agar aapko yaad hai then aap ye easily kar payenge 1 se simply subtract kar dijiye 0.8 so it will be p is equal to 0.2 so dekh liya aapne kitna easy hai aap isko kabhi bhi exam mein skip karke nahi aayenge next chalte hain fourth question ki taraf so kitne jaldi humne teen question solve kar liya hai fourth question is what is the frequency of homozygous dominant genotype so here again it is asking about the genotype yahan pe humne dominant allele ka likala tha frequency abhi iska genotype ka likana hai that means it is asking about p square so it is very simple so you have to just square this value 0 0.2 uska square is 0 0.04 so i hope you are clear till now p square is 0 0.04 that means homozygous dominant genotype ka frequency is 0 0.04 next it is asking the finally the final question fifth one what is the frequency of heterozygous genotype that means you have to move again back so yahan pe humne dekha tha heterozygous genotype means it is asking 2pq so 2pq kis tarah milega hame p mil gaya hai pehle humne solve kiya hai aapne likha hoga nahi likha hai to ab le likh lijiye ki p humne nikala tha 0.2 so p ka value tha 0.2 q humne nikala tha kitna q humne nikala tha 0.8 aur abhi humko likhalna hai 2pq because heterozygous genotype jo hai usko 2pq se denote karte hain as per hardy weinberg equation so 2 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 0.8 aapko de dega answer kitna dega answer the answer will be 0.32 so you also calculate it once if it is correct or wrong so in this way we were able to find five questions from a single question and we have able to do the answer from hardy weinberg equation as i hope you are clear with this if you are having still any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and aapke liye ye surprise hai ki aapke liye ek question hai so here is the question for you all that large ears in rat is dominant so i have made a similar kind of question but with different values so large ears in rat is dominant to small ears that means small ears is kind of recessive trait next it is given 25 rats have large ears 64 have small ears so on the basis of this given required statements you have to find the five answers and comment me in the comment section so let's see who is able to solve this those who have listened to the video attentively they will be able to solve this within two minutes i'm telling you so let's see whether you are able to solve this or not so comment me in the comment section and if you like this give a like and subscribe to the channel to get further updates about get and net examination so see you guys in our next video